Good morning, mathematicians. Today you are starting a new unit. It's equations and inequalities, so I did name it EI. This is lesson one. Uh, today you will be working on steps to solve a multi-step equation. Now I know these look scary, but what we're going to do is we're going to take these three steps and then they won't be so scary. Yes, you will have to take your time. Make sure you write carefully and keep track of what you're doing. The first thing that you're going to want to do is simplify. I will show you how to distribute and combine like terms. Next, you will make the constant 0. Finally, you'll make the coefficient 1. Now remember, the whole reason for doing this is our goal, which is to isolate the variable. So if you need to, go ahead and pause the video so that you can write down these steps. They are also on a poster up on my wall. Okay, now before we get started there, I also want to let you know about what our equations look like and the terms that, uh, the names of the terms that we have on the inside. Now remember, um, our coefficient is the number in front of the x. So here's our x value, and the number in front is the coefficient. Our constant in this set of instructions is our number. It is just a number. Notice that there is no variable. So if any point that you forget what we're doing, make sure you follow the steps and remember the vocabulary. Okay, let's look at number one. Number one does look messy because it does have a lot of numbers. Now the first thing that we need to do is simplify. I always distribute first and notice there are no parentheses, so I'm not going to distribute. But I do have to combine like terms. So I'm going to come in here and take a look at what is the same that I can put together. Notice I have a positive 9x and I have a negative 7x. Since those both have the x value, I can bring them together. And when I bring them together, I have a positive 9, which means I go right 9, and then I have a negative 7, so I come back to the left. It leaves me with 2x. Then I notice that I also have a positive 1 and a negative 5. Now those are the same because they have no variable. So a positive 1 and a negative 5 gives us negative 4. So now that I've combined my like terms on this left side, I can go ahead and start to solve. Now step 2, make the constant 0. Now remember the constant is the number that's by itself. So what I want to do is I want to make this negative 4 into a 0. How do I make a number a 0? Well, I add the opposite. So negative 4 plus 4 becomes a big 0, and I'm done with it. But whatever I do to one side, I have to do to the other. Now, at this point, I do rewrite. You'll always see me do this little RW. You do need to rewrite so that you don't kind of, it gets messy. Don't get lost in the numbers. So now I have a 2x equals, and a negative 20 and a positive 4 becomes a negative 16. If we need to review integer rules, we can do that. Okay, now my goal, step 3, make the coefficient 1. I need this to be a 1. Now remember, we have talked about giant 1s. I do need this to be a 1. How do I make that a 1? Well, in this case, I'm going to divide by 2. Since this is 2 times x, I can undo it by dividing. And remember, 2 divided by 2 is a 1. And so now I have x equals, and then over here, remember, if I divide by 2, I need to divide by 2. And I'm out of space, so I will move it up here. I'm at x equals, I have a negative 16 divided by 2. You can either do that in your head or go ahead and get a calculator. But we are left with negative 8. So that is how I solve number 1. Okay, let's go ahead and do a second one. Now, in my second one, notice that I have 91 equals a negative 7, and then I have this set of parentheses. This set of parentheses is distributive property, so I have to remember to multiply negative 7 by everything on the inside. So when I do that, well, I still have a 91, but now I'm going to have a negative 7 times a positive 3 gives me a negative 21 and I have an A. Can't forget the A, just go ahead and leave it right there at the end. Then I have negative 7 times a negative 1. 
negative times negative is a positive. So I end up with a positive 7. Okay, now that I have simplified, it is time to make my constant 0. Now this one um, looks different than the first one, but here my 0 is still this number at the end. I need that to be 0. How do I make a positive 7 into a 0? I use the opposite. So positive 7 and negative 7 became a big fat 0. There we go. And whatever I do to one side, I have to do to the other. Now remember, I always say rewrite. So now I have 91 minus 7. So that would give me an 84 equals a negative 21a. Okay, so now I have to make this coefficient a 1. Okay, how do I make this coefficient a 1? Well, since this is negative 21 times a, I am going to divide it to undo it. So negative 21 divided by negative 21 is a big fat one. Okay, <laughs> it is looking fat, huh? Okay, now, whatever I do to one side, I do have to do to the other. So on this case, if you want to get a calculator, 84 divided by a negative 21 is actually just going to be a negative 4 equals A. And I didn't have enough room, so I moved it over here. Now, if you are good and set and want to go start working on your own, you may. I am going to do one more because it does combine all of the steps of 1 and 2. Okay, number 3. Number 3, notice that we have a lot going on here. We are going to have to do both parts of our simplifying. We always distribute first because I've got to unlock those parentheses. So I'm going to take this negative 5 and multiply it by both numbers on the inside. <clears throat> now remember, that negative sign does go with the 5. Okay, so I don't want to forget the 4m in the beginning. If I don't write it now, I totally forget. Okay, negative 5 times a positive 3 is a negative 15, and there's 1m. Don't want to leave it hanging. Okay, then I have negative 5 times a positive 10, so that gives me a negative 50 equals 126. Okay, now that I have simplified my distributive property, now I have to combine my like terms. Notice that I have two values with the m, and so I'm going to go ahead and bring those together. I'm going to be left with a negative 11m minus 50 equals 126. Remember, always rewrite. Okay, done with simplifying. Now we need to make the constant 0. So remember, I do want to make this a 0. What am I going to do to make that a 0? I am going to add 50 because then it becomes a 0 and I no longer need to write it. So remember, whatever I do to one side, I do to the other. And rewrite because this is messy. Now I have a negative 11m. That's a 0. Equals 176. So at this point, I am going to... <laughs> Uh, move it over here. So notice I have a negative 11m equals 176. And so what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to make my coefficient a 1. Okay. Now, in order to make this coefficient a 1, I do need to divide it by itself. And whatever I do to one side, I do to the other. And I get m equals, and you're catching me without my calculator, so I am going to have to actually do um, the division. So you get to watch me do this. So I have an 11 out here. 11 goes in one time. And then I'm left with a 66. And 66, uh, 6 times 11 is 66. There we go. It is 16. And it's a negative 16 because I have a positive and a negative. Okay, there is example number three. Okay, at this point, go ahead and pause the video and start working on your own. Remember, you need to do at least five on your own, and then you can move into Delta Math or finish up this worksheet.